And I know this may sound crazy to some people, but trust me when I tell you, if you get control of your you get control of your life. First of all, if y'all knew the lengths I went through to get light in this video right there for y'all, I'm sitting on my bed. I got these dark curtains now, so it's a struggle. Anyway, I woke up today, right? Sometimes I feel ratchet. Like, I'm from the hood. I love ratchet music. I love the energy that it brings me sometimes. I'm not always in the mood for that. But sometimes I just am. Like, I want to bang some Bodak Yellow. So I'm going to the living room, and Cammy's listening to this. If I talk, I'm gonna cry more. Why are you crying? Because we got my mom a gym membership. That's why you're crying? Yeah. Because I've been wanting to do it for a long time. You have such a beautiful soul. We just got her mom a gym membership and she's crying. Yeah, you got a problem with it? <laughs> just got word that we have to shoot up to DC today, so I just packed the bag real quick. Kimmy is getting together our food. We got our ice drinks. Babe, why are you bringing this soda? I'm getting, I'm not, I'm giving up the soda. Oh yeah, no, I don't want it. So we got ice, this is our, this is my oatmeal, some rice cakes. She has two meals over here, which I'm thinking is brown rice and chicken breast, our protein bars, a little salad, a dressing. I know I've said this plenty of times before, but listen, when you travel, it is so, 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 so important that you are prepared because when your back is to the wall and you starving, you're gonna eat whatever you can. And most likely, for me it was McDonald's. So be prepared. If you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. I sound like an old ass man. So if y'all haven't noticed, my daughter, is, she has such a big personality, right? And she's been wanting to start a YouTube channel. So for her birthday, I bought her her, oop. I ordered her a camera and it, it came just in time because we are about to leave town. Ah. She's gonna be so hyped. Ah, she's about to fall. So this is her microphone, and this is her little camera. A little HD hand handheld joint. Uh, the camera is falling. So to all the parents watching this, make sure you pay attention to your kid. See what they like to do, see what they're passionate about. And you have to play to their strengths. Not every kid is built to be a doctor or a construction worker. See what they're passionate about and, and, and point them in that direction. Help nurture them towards their strengths. Because a lot of the times, I, I, for me, my mom wanted me to be a computer engineer and I don't like computers, so. That wouldn't have worked for me. Make sure you encouraging your child to follow their passion early in life. All right, we hustled out the house. We have to hurry up because we're kind of we're running a little bit late. RJ has an open house at four. What happened? I got a new client. Nice. Uh, shout out online to, coaching. Shout out to Cami's new client. Cami also does online coaching as well. So, fellas, tell your uh, your significant others, your daughters, your mothers, your grandmothers, your aunties, and because I do grandmothers to, too. To the uh, to the Four or five percent of my audience that are females, Cami does coaching. She just called me too. <laughs> 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 
Oh, what's up? Okay, I see my ring light back there. <laughs> What'd she say? She said I see my ring light back there. That's not a ring light. That's not a ring light. Why are you so hype? Shout out to the people who have purchased shirts. I am shipping them right now. I really appreciate your support. It helps the channel grow. Oh yeah, man. It help. It helps support the channel, guys. So when you guys purchase shirts, it means a lot to me. Thank you so so much to Kenny, Vicky, and Ricardo. These are the people who ordered shirts last night. And I'm shipping you shirts right now. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Good job, Candice. We don't have your stuff, Lissa. I don't know. Leave me alone. Is that it? I knew it. It was a ring. Well, you lied to me. You, I knew it. Where's my camera? Where's my That's camera? all we got is a ring light. You wanted a camera too? You want a camera too? Really, Daddy? All we got is a ring light. You got really? a camera. Where is it? You don't get it. I'm trunk. Can you pop the trunk, please? Put that, put that ring light in the house. Hi, Daddy. Well, this is your microphone. Okay, I guess I say it. Hold the bottom. Oh. Okay, this is a charger. Yep. Oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, let's open this real camera. Oh my god. Oh my gosh! Look how cute this is! Oh my gosh, I get to vlog. Your your car didn't come yet, so I'll I put I'll let you use mine. Thank you. Just the mic. And you put the mic on top. Hold this, RJ. What is this? That's the battery. So you put the mic in the sh the holster right here. Hmm. Right here. Yeah. What is this for? That goes over the top of this. Like that? It's not, yeah, it's the wind. Catcher? Catcher, yeah, so that it won't distort the sound. Daddy, That's I so cute, it's like a mini you! Daddy. Oh, Everybody wants to oh to look at that! So then when you vlog, <laughs> you could do, it's like, I didn't know that! Hey, hey, so okay. Awesome. I have to put the battery in? Yeah, we didn't put the battery in. Alright, so we're on our way to RJ's open house. Because the first day of school is coming up. And we got to make sure they put you in your your gifted your gifted program this year as well. Cause my man is gifted. I figured it out. You what? I figured it. You what? <laughs> figured it out. Figured. Get your English together. Well, get your Spanish together. Spit bars, and then I sit on them. <laughs> 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 You're taking videos. You got, oh my god. Then I sit on them. Yeah. You still got sleep in your eyes, too. Listen, you're I just ate first after you talked about it. smell like fruity duty. You know where you're going? Yeah, uh, Miss Woodard. Miss Woodard? Well. Yes. Yeah, I'm in hallway room five. Thank right, you. Thank you. Miss Woodard, do you know who that is? No. She's a new teacher. I think so, at least. You don't like new teachers? Mm -hmm. I really wanted to be in Miss Hancock's class. Uh -huh. But I didn't get to. Sometimes we got to deal with things that we don't want to deal with. That's just life. We are pleased to inform you that your child has been selected to be in a gifted education class. Feels like we've, we're closing on a house. On this paperwork. This thing was supposed to be three hours. We were in and out 45 minutes. Bang it up, bang it up, bang it up, bang it up. I tell them all, hey, break it down, bag it up. What the? <laughs> what you doing? She said, pay for the, 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 pay So we're at the YMCA in your town, dropping the kids off at the little kid zone, and we're about to get it in. It's like that. Yes, we're going. So I've been consistent with my exercise for about four years now, and leg day is still a struggle for me. Comment below if you love working out, but you still hate leg day.
I like to warm up with leg press. It's just my favorite leg machine to warm up with. I think it, uh, I like to use a machine to warm up before I do any free weight stuff. Can't really give you the science behind it, but it's just what I like to do. When I say warm up, I mean that this is the first leg exercise I normally do. I start off light, get a, one or two sets of like 20, uh, and then I do my working sets, but it's not just a warm up. This is just the first exercise I do, and that's why I kind of reference it as the warm up to my leg workout. Workout over. I'm about to go get the kids now because RJ is being worse than texting us every five minutes. Complete. I know y'all seen the title of this video and was like, yo, what is this dude Bricks talking about? But let me let me speak to you guys from the heart, right? My sexual urges, me always chasing women, trying to get buns, trying to impress chicks, that always got me in trouble. Me trying to me not being able to control my my appetite, me wanting to eat all the time and overeating and me enjoying and loving fried foods and donuts and all that, it got me in trouble. It got my health in trouble. Once I learned, once I mastered my, my internal environment, it changed the game for me. One of the hardest things to do, especially as a man, is to control your sexual urges. How many times did you find yourself in situations chasing butt that you either wasted money, you wasting time, you got a disease, you, you got a baby with some chick that you didn't really like? Think about how many scenarios that can play out by you not being able to control your sexual urges. Like, just really sit down and think about that for a second. Now, it was tough. I had what you call codependency issues, right? I had to always have a chick with me, no matter what. And that led me to me wasting my time, being in toxic relationships because I just, I just felt like I needed another person with me. I never spent time with myself, and that was a problem. That was a big problem. And it wasn't until I spent time with myself that I got to learn myself. And knowing yourself, self-awareness is the ultimate edge in life, I'm telling you. If you learn to master your internal environment, your urges, your, your thoughts, your desires, you know what I'm saying, like your cravings, if you learn to control all of that and you don't let your impulses control your life, that everything external becomes easy. Like that's a piece of cake to control what's external if you learn to control what's internal. I wanna read you guys a quote from one of my, my favorite philosophers, Seneca. We should every night call ourselves to an account. What infirmities have I mastered today? What passions have I opposed? What temptations have I resisted? What virtues have I acquired? You can get rid of your bad habits if you acknowledge them every single day. Like if you bring them to the forefront of your mind and every night you take an assessment of your day, like which one of my vices, which one of my, my, uh, sh my weaknesses did I, did I fight through today? If you think about that every single day, your vices will eventually go away. But it takes a daily effort of you being strong and you being able to resist certain temptations. And I know this may sound crazy to some people, but trust me when I tell you, if you get control of your you get control of your life.